In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and a complete setup of your Canon Pixima TS3429 all-in-one printer. So let's do the unboxing and then we will do the wireless setup and we'll do printing and scanning with it. So. Here we have the ink cartridges and the power cable. Now plug in the power cable so that goes here. Switch on the printer so press the power button. This printer comes with set of two ink cartridges, 243 black and 244 color. To install the ink cartridges we have to open the front door. So open it. Now open the ink cartridges. So remove the packing. Remove the orange seal. Same with the coloring cartridge. Now press this lock down. Now the coloring cartridge here. Slide it in. Once it sits on this lock, you can close it. For the black ink cartridge, slide it. Once it sits on the lock, push it up. Now close the ink chamber. Next is to load the paper. So paper tray is here. Adjust the size. Place it here. Paper output tray is at the front like this. Printer is ready for the copy function. To do the printing and scanning we have to do the Wi-Fi setup. So I'm going to use my iPhone for the wireless setup. Go to the Canon Print app. You can download it from the app store. Click on the printer icon on the top. Click on the register printer. Click on the if printer cannot be found. Select auto connection. So it will ask you if your printer has a button like this. Yes we have. Click on the yes button. Now we have to press and hold this button for 3 seconds. Now press and hold this button, that's a small button here with this round icons. So press and hold it for 3 seconds, 1, 2, 3, release it. The icons will start to flash here, also the power light will start to flash. Now go to your app section and click on the confirm and click next. Click OK. It will ask the permission to connect with the printer so click on the join. So it gives the option to select the Wi-Fi router. Click yes if it is a correct Wi-Fi network or you can just select the other from the list. Click close button. So it says printer is connected we can select images for the printing so we can close this window and you can also try some other things or you can close the window and you should be able to see Canon TS3400 series. So this way we can do the complete setup of this printer. Now I'm going to show you how to copy, print and scan. For example, if you want to do a copy, you simply have to place a page in the printer scanner bed. Place it facing downwards like this. Close the lid. You have an option to select black or color. So just select color and it will give a command for the printer. So the print quality is good. Let's do the printing and scanning. Go to your app. Select any document you want to print. If you have any email, photo, you can just select that, open it, click on the next button, click no 
on next page because otherwise it will take you somewhere else and if you want to change the settings you can do that for example change settings now this printer doesn't have auto two sided printing so it won't do that you have to do it manually and any other settings you want you can change you can increase the copies and once you are ready click on the print button and click ok so that is printing next is to do the scanning go back to the app section on the main screen you will see there is a scan icon so before we do the scan we have to place a page for the scanning for example I am going to scan this page so place it down facing downwards just on the corner where the arrow is close it go to the app section and click on the scan button here you can go to the change settings select if it is a document or it's a photo if you want a color or grayscale and also the size go back and click on the scan icon if you want to add more pages for your scan place the next page and click on the scan icon so it will create a second page for the scanning and we can also save it as a single PDF file so once your scan is finished click on the exit button on the next page you can select use as a JPEG if it is a photo so this way we can do the complete setup of this printer and we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning and copy thanks for watching